Yo, so what is going on everybody of the internet? My name of course is Le Big Mac and today I'm going to be doing a Japanese unboxing of some snacks uh, slash sweets or whatnot. I've never done one of these unboxings of um, foreign food before. Um, the most that I've ever tried in terms of quote unquote foreign food and snacks would be um, would be American. Uh, but I decided, you know what? I um, I saw this like little advert on Amazon and I picked up one and I've also started to sign up to some foreign sweet um, box subscriptions so I've decided that I'm going to do this every month and try it out and record it be a good video for the people that follow me on my own personal um, challenging well not my challenging my personal Facebook that I uh, use to document my illness my public page fight Mac fight so uh yeah I, I thought i'd show you guys a different side to me and but it isn't necessarily all doom and gloom <laughs> so here we go so i've had a look through this as per me saying beforehand now i will go through every single one um there is one that i am willing to not try um only one uh, i've got to be very careful with my keyboard not to touch the space bar so that it doesn't stop the recording and that's this thing right here it's an octopus type um, I, I have no clue but it, it doesn't look at all appetizing and it, it, it it's got liquid in it and I am NOT preparing to try that everything else in here I'm prepared to try so we're gonna start off with I like the look of these and they're, I know that the fried chicken so I'm gonna try and leave them towards the end Got myself a monster right here. We'll open that up, bad boy, before we start. Oh, yeah. Good old bad boy monster. And, uh, yeah, let's begin. So, I'm going to go for one of these. Uh, this is a teriyaki flavor. Get a decent shot here. Teriyaki flavor. Some sort of snack bite. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to open and try every single one. It's like a... It looks like a crisp, um, the looks of it, like a crisp. So I'm going to try every single one and I'm going to obviously let my parents try this out whilst I've got them open. It smells really nice. It smells like a nice, um, smells like a nice kind of barbecue-y flavour. Hmm. It's very, it's a very subtle flavor, but it's definitely a barbecue flavor, teriyaki barbecue flavor, um, similar to maybe Cheetos, uh, in terms of texture, maybe like what's no not not what's it, a bit firmer than what's it what we have over in the UK, but definitely a um, I would try these again. We've got several flavors of these. I think we should probably go with the different flavors, uh, so we'll put that one there. This flavor, unfortunately, doesn't have any sort of English on it. The teriyaki did. It had it at the top. This one has no sort of flavor, so I'm going into this one completely blind. Again, same sort of, same sort of look at the top. Let's try the smell. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know what this one is. Is it... I've never tried any Japanese food, so I can't even tell. The nearest I've got to Asian food. Hmm. Not sure what this one tastes like. It's got a very garlicky flavour. Very garlicky flavour. Um. Again, I I've tried very little Asian food. I've tried Vietnamese. Uh, Chinese and that's as far as I can go with Eastern Asia um, so I haven't really tried snacks or such from there that region so we have got another one here I'm assuming that it says here corn potage and I think that's what the actual thing things are the actual um, the actual things inside are so let's try out this flavor again very similar very similar look to the last one if we compare here very similar look very very similar look let's try it 
try this one. Huh. Tastes like sweet corn that you get out of a can. Wow. Really good stuff. Tastes just like sweet corn out of a can that you that you put on the hob. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so we've done through the crisps. Um, these look more like chocolate, so I don't want to kind of like taint my mouth with chocolate at the moment. I ought to just give it a quick swirl with my drink. Okay, All right, so what we're going to go for next? I think I want to try these. Again, I have no clue what any of these are. I can only tell. I know what these two are. These two will no doubt be some sort of fish. And I believe this might be wasabi. But I've never tried wasabi. So I am going to be intrigued by that. But I'm going to try these next. I have no clue what they are. They taste very plain. Whatever they are, they taste very plain. So, interesting. But I'm not 100% sure what they are. Um, these are the fish. If I go for the fish, because I know for a fact that I'm, if I'm going to, if I'll end up good dog pile in the fish until the end and i know for the fact that i don't want to do that i won't be opening all of these by the way because these do look as if they're the same sort of flavors um these marshmallow things so i think i'll just keep them at the moment right let's try this oh god i'm not a fan of fish by the way i'm not a fan of fish in any sense of the word at all I will not usually eat fish um, outside fish and chips. So for me to eat this, try two bits. Yeah. A... Oh, 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 <clears throat> oh. Okay. Okay. I've definitely got the um. Yeah, these definitely taste very fishy. Oh, it smells very fishy. Like tasting much better cooked calamari. Like the only time that I'll ever really try fish is at a, a buffet. This isn't all too bad. Not all too bad. I could, I could eat, I could stomach it. I could stomach it. And considering the illnesses and whatnot that I've got, that's that's something big thing to say. Okay. I'm gonna also veto this one. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna veto. In fact, I'm going to veto these until I go round my friend's house, who is batshit crazy about this sort of stuff. So I don't really want to open them and waste them. So I'm going to I'm going to leave these. I'm going to leave these for another video. I'll just have to remember next time we're out of lockdown to do this. Okay. So we'll now go for. Oh God. Um. Go for this egg thing right here. So an egg thing. Nice little. Nice little. Uh, I can only imagine it being like a. It feels like a tough. Kind of like Haribo sweet. Let's. Try Hopefully it doesn't actually taste like egg. I think it's a chocolate. It looks like chocolate. 
Yeah, it's chocolate. That white chocolate it tastes different. I don't know how and I don't know why. But the only white chocolate that we've got that tastes probably similar to this is Milky Bar. And this kind of tastes like maybe a one week old if you've left it out Milky Bar. Don't tell me how I know this but it kind of that would be what I'd think it tastes like. By the way, I, I have to admit, whilst I'm still looking at these like sweets, the packaging on them is, is so good. Packaging on them is so nice. And whilst whilst we've got this one, I will try it. I have no clue what it is. I've, I mean, it doesn't look appetizing. I'll show sure you can see that. Come on, I'll try and get it out of the packet. It looks like a part of the human anatomy towards the end of the digestive tract. Oh, it feels disgusting. But uh, oh, oh no! This is going to be a piece of fruit of some description. Oh, I've not, I've not, not chucked out anything yet, so I'm surprised. Uh. <coughs> <laughs> I think that might be like a strawberry. A really gone off strawberry. I think that might be what that is. No. I ought to rearrange these into no's and yes piles, actually, of what I would try again and what I wouldn't. I think all of these over on this side. Actually, we'll we'll do that at the end. So, um, these are different flavors, from what I can gather. So I'd imagine that's a marshmallow, like a hot chocolate marshmallow, maybe a coffee marshmallow. That one's going to be a strawberry. This one's going to be like a jello pudding. Now, I've never tried jello pudding, and I don't want to open all these again. So, I've got God Kids, so I'm going to let them have some of them. I'm going to let them try that. Um, so, yeah, let's try the jello pudding flavor that I can only imagine it would be. <laughs> again, it's a marshmallow, so. Oh. Rip a bit off. Oh, it's got little. Some sort of thing inside. Focus camera. Focus. Focus. There we go. Ah, let's see. Yep. Yep, like a Jello pudding. Um, I've never tried Jello pudding in my life, but my God, if that's what Jello pudding tastes like, I need to get me some from America. Need to get me some, some good stuff. Right, not got many left. We've got uh, six things left. Wow, we're already thirteen minutes into this already. <laughs> okay, I can only imagine these being like Smarties. They've got the feel and look of Smarties, little mini Smarties. Over here in the UK, I can only imagine that they're going to be smarties. But again, the packaging is something that I've really, I was, regardless of whether I like the product or not, the packaging that um, that go into these is just so amazing. The design and the packaging is so good. I, I don't know how much that would cost in Japan, you know, but I can already tell. Even if it's like a product that's like forty or fifty p, I could tell that that would be a very, very, very I, it would immediately take my eyes over like anything that you get over in the UK. The UK's packaging sucks. We need to get some some pointers from the from the Japanese. So like this. Yep, just as I expected. So smarty.
So normal run of the mill smarty, pretty nice. Um, this is a blueberry thing, so I'm not going to try the blueberry thing until the end. Now this, this I've got concerns about. It's black, um, and the only thing that I know that makes your tongue black is licorice. I never liked licorice as a child, and I doubt I'll like it as a 26-year-old. Oh, oh, wait a sec. Got a bit of a different look inside. Definitely still like a... Sure what that is. I'm sure. Hmm. Bombs up. Okay, I think this is definitely more of a cola flavour rather than a weird flavour. Good flavour. I've been honestly surprised about all of, most of this in this box. There's only been certain things that I've not liked. I think there's been this and this that I've not liked. And even that, give or take. Okay. We've got some sort of like I swear we had these when we were kids and they just remind me of like a like a fruit winder when we were kids. Again if you were born in the nineties, mid nineties like I was, probably remember fruit winders. Very much looking like a fruit wind up. Very, very sticky. Oh god. Very sticky. I'm just gonna eat some out of the package. Okay. That last one, I don't know what it was because this is definitely Coke. This has got a defined Coke flavour. A stereotypical Coke flavour in sweets. So very much this is the coke flavor this is the coke one all right so we've got three more four more things jeez i'm gonna try i'm gonna have to edit this down a lot um so we've got this now a again half of these i not had a clue what they are but i can only imagine that this might be chocolate because i can feel like a thin glazing on top of whatever it is Yep, chocolate. So we've got some chocolate now. This could be nice to taste some Japanese chocolate. Again, I have no clue what it is. It does look like a milk chocolate. Just looks very dark for a milk chocolate. Much darker than the counterpart over here in the UK. So, oh. It's very much like the beginning things that we had. You know, the um, crisp roll things. So if you look inside. Look inside there and then compare it to that. Very much like the crisp roll things. Okay, very nice. Very, very nice. Um, reminds me very much like a blue ribbon over here in the UK. Blue ribbon or blue ribbon? Blue ribbon. Um... There's probably a little less flavour in the biscuit or the wafer, but again, very top notch, very top notch. I've been I've been actually impressed with this uh, haul so far because I thought this was going to be really, really. I wasn't going to like this. Now this I might not like. Okay, so I don't speak I don't speak Japanese at all. So any of this, the lettering doesn't register with me however ka and fi does remind me of something and that spells like cafe coffee so oh. 
this is coffee, I'm not going to enjoy this because I, despite the amount of energy drinks that I drink per day, I do not, I do not taste or sm I do not like the smell of coffee. Again, it's just chocolate. It just smells like chocolate. So I'm gonna have to. Oh. Too much that I want to try. Oh, go on now. Again, very much like the last one, apart from this one's got a light, a lighter taste but a richer tone to it. Thoroughly enjoy. Right. Okay, so these are the ones that I ho I've been waiting for these since I got these. Fried chicken flavored crisps. And at this point, it seems that my video recording on my phone stopped capturing. So unfortunately, the last thing that I believe I missed out on in the recording was possibly the blueberry candy thing that I had. But overall, it was a really good box. I really enjoyed doing this. And I'm probably going to do this again with a few other boxes that I'm going to be ordering. Uh, maybe some different from different countries. Um, I know for a fact I've got a Spain one downstairs and a crisp box or potato chip box full of different crisps and chips from other countries. But uh, let me know how it all went, how you thought of it, whether I could improve or not. Please leave a comment down below and I'll speak to you all later. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to work out the issue with my camera this time or, or make the video a bit less long. <laughs> Take care, guys, and thanks for watching.